Yeah, this is the Dr. Anonymous Show live on Blog Talk Radio. On the line with us uh, we have is my new best friend live from Seattle, Washington. Welcome to the show, Dana Lewis. Thanks for having me. So, uh, you know, if if you've been following Dana, especially today, Dana has had a a huge day of meetings. So I do want to thank you for taking the time. Um, And I just want to tell you, before we start, I've been a big fan of yours for a long time, and I know we'll get into that. But uh, thank you so much for taking the time here uh, tonight. Hey, the admiration is mutual. Glad to be here. (laughs) All right. Uh, So why don't we just start off with the Healthcare Symposium going on next week, Swedish Medical Center. Um, and thank you. Uh, and I want to thank Swedish for, for the invitation to take part in the uh, pre-conference uh, session. But why don't we start off with, with, the, uh, with the full healthcare symposium uh, itself. Um, would you tell us a, a little bit about that? Um, and we can chat a little bit about it and where can people can find more information about that. Sure. Well, I work for Swedish Medical Center here in Seattle, Washington, and Swedish is a nonprofit health system that's been in the community for more than for 100 years. And so for our 100th birthday celebration, instead of, you know, throwing a bunch of parties, we actually wanted to give back to the community. So we're putting together a series of events throughout the year, with the symposium being one of the biggest ones um, to bring national and international leaders in healthcare from around the world to Seattle to talk about how can we improve and redesign healthcare delivery. So that's what this 2010 symposium is really about. And um, yeah, I, w- I was looking at the the schedule and you know some of the the speakers and some of the people that are um, going to be attending and uh, speaking at this uh, healthcare symposium next week. Because it's it's very uh, very impressive. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the uh, speakers? Sure. Well, we're really excited to have people from across healthcare. So we have the chairman and CEO of GE, Jeffrey Amelt, coming to give a keynote. We have folks from Mayo Clinic, the Tuck School of Business, Johns Hopkins. So really, every possible person who could be touched by healthcare, that type of organization, whether it's a nonprofit, a hospital, uh, an innovation technology company, but even somebody from Wegman Institute is coming to talk about how can employers redesign their healthcare programs for employees. So it's really interesting, and I'm, I'm personally really excited to be able to attend this. And one of my favorite things is we've made it possible. So even if you can't come out to Seattle for this event, we're going to live stream the whole thing from start to finish, and we're going to take questions from people who are watching online on Twitter and through Cover It Live. You can get your questions answered by the panelists live in real time. So can you tell us a little bit more about that as far as um, you know, how can people can get involved with that and, and – uh, um yeah, you know, just to kind of take part in the conversation if they can't be um, uh, be there in uh, there in person. Well, the easiest way is to use the hashtag Swedish100. So, if you're a Twitter user, you can log on to Twitter, um, or even if you're not a Twitter user, you can watch the conversation by searching pound Swedish100. However, if you want to watch the video and comment, and you don't have a Twitter account, you can also go to Swedish.org slash 2010 symposium and you can see the video and you can comment even without a Twitter account and we'll have people monitoring that so you can ask your questions we'll hand them to the speakers and it'll be just like you were there and, and physically here in Seattle with us um, and just kind of reading up on on this a little bit I mean I from what I understand kind of just doing kind of a little bit more a little of my research um, uh, this is kind of a, a, a a first-time event for the for Seattle for the Pacific Northwest, especially in healthcare, talking about you know having a discussion on how to transform and redesign healthcare. Absolutely. I mean, I, granted, I have a little bit of a limited perspective. I've been in Seattle for three months, but to my knowledge, being in the healthcare community, even beyond that, there's not a lot of activities and events and bringing the community together around the Northwest. Usually, if it's on the West Coast, it's in California, Midwest, on the East Coast, Northeast particularly. But a lot of times, we don't have everybody coming together in the Northwest. So we're really excited to bring everybody here to Seattle and to talk about healthcare and to hopefully make a difference. Um, and on the, uh, the the Swedish 100 site, and I, p- I put a link to that in the chat room, and uh, for those of you who are listening afterward, it's Swedish100.org. That would be kind of the first place to start. You can click on the Healthcare Symposium uh, button there, and uh, people can still register uh, for the uh, in-person event. Is that right? Absolutely. Well, our general overall 
symposium is closed right now. We actually have a waiting list. Um, we're sold out with over 500 people. However, if you want to come to the pre-conference Monday morning, which I'm guessing we'll talk about in a moment, um, you can go to the same website that I mentioned, the Swedish dot uh, org slash 2010 symposium and look at an associated link and you'll be able to register on Eventbrite for the event that's Monday morning from 8 to 11:30 a.m. where your very own Dr. Anonymous will be speaking here in Seattle. <laughs> but the full uh, well, that's great that the uh, that the full healthcare symposium is, is sold out. That that kind of just kind of shows uh, uh, that people are very interested in this and uh, want to take part in the conversation. And uh, you know, obviously the, the the speaker list is very impressive as well. So that's that's kind of a good. Uh, uh, a good initial sign uh, for the event already. Yeah, like I said, we're thrilled. I mean, when you pull together over 40 amazing speakers just for the symposium alone, then you add in a pre-conference focusing on social media innovation with, you know, yours truly and some other fabulous doctors and keynote speakers. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to not be have an incredible event when you have this many great people in healthcare together. Um, and let's kind of switch uh, to the uh, pre-conference. Uh, that's going to be the, the the Monday morning, uh, um, I believe, and uh, uh, that'll be uh, October 11th. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just uh, uh, I, I'm happy to be a part of the event, and and uh, some of the other speakers um, for for the social media event. Uh, it's also very impressive as well. How, how did that come up? Uh, uh, obviously, there's a you know, there was a felt to be a need to, to have a pre-conference uh, for um, social health and social media, uh, but kind of how, how did that idea come out? Well, it actually came from my boss, Melissa Tizon. She's at Melissa Tizon on Twitter, and she also runs the at Swedish Twitter account. Um, but I, I work under her, and I do social media here. But when I came on board in July, she was saying, you know, we've got this phenomenal event, but we also want to do some social media. Why don't you put together a pre-conference? And that's kind of a great opportunity, and it, I would hate to, you know, waste that opportunity. So I just kind of took it and ran with it. And, you know, she's been really great in supporting us and helping me pull it together. Um, so we were able to pull in, you know, an e-patient, one of the top doctors in the area and top doctors across the nation, um, you know, Jen Dyer, Brian Vardabedia, and Kent Bottles, and yourself to talk about what it's really like to be a physician in social media, what it's really like to be um, as a patient online and looking for information, and what are we all trying to get out of the social media thing? Um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. We, we had uh, we kind of had our little uh, uh, pre pre conference uh, <laughs> meeting earlier this week, um, as far as brainstorming and uh, kind of starting the conversation, and uh, you know just being on the phone uh, with these people uh, just got me very energized. Uh, got me uh, thinking about a lot of different things that I can share, at least from my point of view, and I know from uh, you know, the other panelists and the other speakers, I mean, that, that'll, uh, that'll give people a pretty good um, idea of, of, the, uh, of, uh, of social health and, and uh, uh, social media um, at this point in time. So I, I'm very excited about that. Well, it's mutual. I'm, an, I'm a huge adrenaline junkie, so I've just been bouncing off the walls going, is it Monday yet? Is it Monday yet? So we're all very excited about it. Um, and again, if, if people can't uh, be there um, in person, um, there uh, is a, a, a site that uh, you can go and, and see it at live stream video. Um, and for those of you who use Twitter, um, the uh, the Twitter hashtag um, is uh, Swedish. 100 um and something that, that i've seen at uh, um, other events and other swedish events too is is the use of this uh, uh, social media um utility called cover it live um where um i think uh, if i understand it right you can aggregate um a lot of things especially a certain um hashtags like uh, swedish 100 so people can uh, take part in the conversation, but not necessarily be a part of Twitter. And uh, from what you were saying, Dana, but you, uh, there will be some questions that are taken from uh, some of these social media outlets. Yeah, absolutely. Cover it Live is one of my favorite tools aside from Twitter because it allows you to, like you said, aggregate the hashtag, not just one, but you can pull in certain Twitter accounts. You can pull in the hashtag. Um, and you can also put in media if you want to share media files, like a picture or do a poll with the audience. So it's a really great way to keep everybody engaged. Um, but if you don't have a Twitter account and you want to put in a comment, it's really easy. All you have to do is type in your comment, hit enter. We approve it, and we possibly enable, are able to take it up on stage and give it to the speaker, just like if you were passing a card in from the audience here in Seattle. 
And something that was really cool earlier this week, uh, I saw that the uh, the the CEO of Swedish uh, is is on Twitter now, and I saw that, that you posted a picture of him kind of uh, tweeting or reading or both. Um, and it was nice to see uh, see him kind of type some stuff in. I, I, I typed, uh, said hello, and he said hello back. So uh, uh, so that's cool. I mean, it's, it, it's great that it's you know, really kind of coming from the top down as far as, you know, this is what we feel the, the medical center, the health system, the hospital, uh, the direction that uh, we think that uh, communication should take. Absolutely. I mean, Swedish, we're trying to make Swedish a very social hospital. So whether you're a nurse, an administrator, a doctor, somebody like myself who works in communications, we love the place we work for, and we want to be ambassadors for it. So we're trying to enable everybody, you know, top down, bottom up, to be able to have these opportunities to engage with people online and provide that same great service of healthcare, but, you know, possibly online because that's where patients are. Um, what does, uh, what, what is Swedish hope to, uh, to get? Um, you know, what kind of discussion do they help to get? What, what, do they, what kind of bridge do they help to get after this meeting as far as, you know, the kind of discussion or, you know, kind of next steps, you know, uh, after this meeting? Well, like I said, it's our 100th anniversary. And so instead of doing a lot of self-serving parties and yay, you know, we're, we're here, but we really did want to give back to the community. So we're hoping that this symposium, that we're going to start a conversation that's going to go beyond Monday and Tuesday about redesigning healthcare delivery. How can we really have innovations in healthcare? It's the same thing with the pre-conference. It's about starting a discussion. Like I said, I don't know that there's a lot of events out here in the Northwest, but hopefully this will be the catalyst to really bring the Hickson community, the healthcare communications community together um, out here in the Northwest and keep that going. 